in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we turn to Psalm 42, it begins with these words. As a deer pants for the flowing stream, so pants my soul for you, O God. Living where there are deer everywhere is an opportunity to be reminded that deer were part of the animals God created on the sixth day, just the same day man and woman was created. Deer also were among the animals that Noah brought on the ark. So when God caused the writer of this psalm to include deer and streams of water, the reality of life created by God is very real. And this causes man to think about God, about his soul, and how he needs not just any God, but the living God. When we hear the words, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God, this is a description of what is happening in the hearts of many people today, as it has been three months since we've been able to worship in God's house. Oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Yes, Lord, I miss worship. And even as services are beginning, we still do not feel the freedom and safety we once enjoyed. The psalm captures what is evident. Where is your God? Even though we have been limited in our ability to worship, nevertheless, the psalm senses our concern when it says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation, and my God. And then the same message concludes the psalm. Yes, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness, and no merit of my own I claim, but wholly lead on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Amen.